The infamous question, why is it so easy to gain fat, but hard to lose it? Now ask yourself, have you ever wondered why it's so easy to gain it, but incredibly hard to lose it? Because losing those extra pounds, they absolutely feel like an uphill battle. But don't worry, I'm here to break it down for you. So let's explore the reasons behind the common struggle and find some practical solutions. Point number one, fat is easy to store and grow new cells, but it's hard to get rid of naturally. And what does that mean by naturally? It means through diet and exercise. I mean, you can go and get liposuction. They have other things out there that could potentially actually remove the fat, but that's not the natural way. And most people, they don't wanna go under the knife. So when it comes to eating more calories than our body's needs, guess what happens to the excess calories? Well, some of them get stored in the muscle so that you can utilize that muscle, but above and beyond what is required for your body to function gets stored as body fat. It's like our bodies have a natural talent for packing on the pounds, wouldn't you agree? However, when it comes to losing the fat, it's a different story. Our bodies are programmed to hold on to fat reserves it's a natural survival instinct. So this makes losing fat naturally quite challenging. Now here's the solution. It's super simple. Track how many calories you're burning and then use a food scale and use a food app and put yourself in a caloric deficit. So by knowing how much you're burning on a day, you're tracking your food, you're able to maintain a caloric deficit, not just for a day, you can't be on a diet for a day or two days or even two weeks. You have to do this for 365 days. So the problem, fat is easy to grow, hard to lose. The solution, put yourself in a caloric deficit. Point two, as we start to lose weight and our body fat starts to decrease, the fat cells, they don't go anywhere. They only shrink. So when you add more body fat to your body, you're actually creating more fat cells that are available so that if you go on a diet and exercise for like two or three months, and then like that fourth month, something happens, right? Where it just puts you into such a downward spiral that you gain fat back. In fact, you gain more, the amount of fat cells are there. And then if you've doubled them, the amount of weight that you could put on after you've gained extra amounts of fat is going to be a significantly increased number. So contrary to what many believe, Fat cells don't vanish when we lose weight. They only shrink in size. So even if you manage to shed those extra pounds, those fat cells, they're still there. They're waiting to expand again. And if you consume extra calories, guess where those extra calories are gonna go to? They're going to go to your fat cells. So here's the solution. Stop quitting the gym. Look at it as 365. Stop overeating. When you feel like you've got enough food in you, just stop or add more time between meals. Don't get one giant plate and then continue to go back. You need to start saying no to peer pressure. We know what happens when we go to these family get togethers or we have a wedding or we have a grad or a kid's birthday. Like people are like, hey, you wanna eat? Like just have the natural instinct to say I'm good, right? Like literally you could be the game changer amongst all of your friends and family. And then you need to start working out more. So stop quitting the gym, in fact, you need to just start working out more so that we shrink those fat cells and they never refill. Point three is that fat accumulation actually takes time and it's easy to regain the weight. And weight gain happens gradually when we consistently eat more than we burn. So everybody's already eating, right? Like you've already probably eaten when you're watching this video, potentially two or three times. But have you worked out two or three times today? Probably not. So similarly, Losing weight requires a consistent caloric deficit. However, our bodies can produce more fat cells, which makes it easier for us to regain the weight quickly. And that's why so many people experience weight rebound after they stop dieting, stop a belly burn, or they quit the gym. So what's the solution? Simple, get more active, get more steps, get yourself busy, like be busy so that you don't have time to eat. I want you to start practicing intermittent fasting, delete all those freaking food apps, and never ever go through the drive. -thru. So there we have it guys. First off, make sure you give this video a like. Second of all, I gave you three massive points of how you'll never gain back the fat. 
and you'll continuously lose the weight that you don't want and eventually hit your dream body.